All right, we are here with a, another championship transformation. I have a client that completed her last six weeks with us, um, and I'm going to let her share her story. What is your name? Calista Bade. Calista. And, yep. How old are you, Calista? I'm going to be 26 in one week. When, oh, happy early birthday. Thank you. The perfect time to finish a six-week challenge. Uh, what yeah. do you do for work, by the way? I'm a software developer. Software. Okay, very cool. So um, I'm going to go back before you started the program. So you completed it, but talk about your uh, fitness and your health. What was it like before joining Fight Fitness and doing the six-week challenge with us? I wouldn't say it was too bad. I would exercise regu regularly. I was trying to find um, like a workout regime that I liked. So at the time before signing up, I was doing um, like a Pilates class. So you could go in and do different kinds of classes that would like target different kinds of things. Um, so I was doing that. And in terms of like health, like um, eating wise, I kind of just ate like it's home cooked food. Like I don't really eat out all that much, probably just on Fridays. And when I do, it's nothing too crazy, probably like Korean fried chicken or something, but it wasn't anything ever too like overly indulgent, but I wasn't tracking anything. So, and I have a dog, so I would walk like two times a day for an hour. So I was getting in some exercise, but it probably wasn't um like enough to see like real physical change more so just to get your body moving maintain wherever I'm at like right now but that's it yeah mm -hmm. okay very cool so it's very different than a lot of people so one you were active already already attending classes you kind of you knew you didn't like you didn't track your foods but you also didn't like um uh, you weren't eating overly too bad um yeah. and super active which is good I always find like what's the moment that said uh, you found that you had to do something like what was it that said oh, you know what I need a change was it like an cumulative effect that you were thinking that you need to do something or was it something that just sparked sparked you and you're just like I gotta do something I gotta make a change what would you say it was I think it was like a leading up process so like this year I really started like tracking like my budgeting and so I was like okay if my fitness routine is gonna cost this much um like whatever so I really started paying attention to like details in like my life and like what I wanted to dedicate and spend my time towards and so as I was doing like the Pilates classes like I'm enjoying this and it's great but I'm like I I work out because like one I sit all day so I like to get up and move um and I actually like working out like before Pilates I used to do um like strength training so in the gym like lifting weights and that I really enjoyed it does get really expensive um just because I had a personal trainer because I don't know what to do in the gym I see a weight and I'm just like I don't know so I needed somebody to tell me what to do but that's pretty expensive so I switched to Pilates um but I'm just like I'm not seeing like the change that I wanted to and I'm just like well if I if this is something that I'm serious about and I like then put your money towards that and then I saw like the six week challenge. And so that's when I was like, you know what, if I want to see the real um, difference and hold myself accountable to something, then I'm going to do like this challenge and see how it goes. I love, I love the systematic review of it. You looked at your budget, you looked at how much money you're allocating, and then you looked at return on investment. Very cerebral way of thinking of things very well. It's almost like the way I would uh, decide. So that's awesome. We don't get that often. Um, <laughs> you finished the challenge. Mm -hmm. What were some of your specific results? Um, well, I, I know that it's either um like dropped 27 pounds or the 6%. I got to the 6% because if I lose 27 pounds, I'd be a skeleton. Um, so yeah, I that specifically. Um, I did notice that like in terms of weight wise, I think like I would steady be at 110, but I think I'm more towards 105, 107 now consistently on a day-to-day -day basis, based off of like whatever fluctuations. Um I notice also like because like you change your eating habits. I don't I have the biggest sweet tooth, the biggest. <laughs> and that was like my biggest concern when I was doing the diet. But I feel like once you're getting everything that you're supposed to be getting, you don't feel the need to like pick up that sweet thing afterwards. Like I still do have it. Like it um, but like I'll drink my water, make sure that, you know, I got my water intake and I'm not just like feeling thirsty. And then I'll sit and I'll be like, you know what? I don't actually need anything. I don't really feel like I need to snack on something. Like I'm full. I feel satisfied. I don't feel groggy. So I feel like, yeah, that's that's like the biggest changes from it. That's, 
That's awesome. So from the scale victories, you, it sounds like you dropped about five pounds. You dropped a mm -hmm. ton of body fat, almost that 6%. You hit that goal, which is awesome. But then also non-scale victories. It sounds like habits have been changed. You yeah. no longer reach for sweets. You have control of it. Instead of reaching for snacks, you drink water instead, which are really powerful habits to maintain and also develop early, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really good. Um, the workouts, let's talk a little bit about that. What, what, were, what were some of your favorite parts of uh, trying? Because I'm, I'm assuming you didn't do kickboxing or anything like that before. I dabbled a tiny bit um, with some classes at other places, but consistently doing it, this would be like my first time like sticking to Got it. it. It was really fun. <laughs> I like punching is what I've learned. And my kicks aren't too aren't too good yet. I'm working on it. But I like I like the good old one two hook. It's just great. It's really fun. Very empowering, right? To hit something. Yeah. Cool. yeah. You you talked about your nutrition. I know, although it wasn't bad, but you mm -hmm. said you never watched it. What did, what is something that you kind of learned from uh, following our nutrition plan for the last six weeks? Kind of like just how because I feel like the biggest benefit from doing um the six week wasn't too much the workout because I can be active, but it was the knowledge of like how how eating plays a role in it. So my coach was Coach Chris, and he's so informative, and he answered all my questions, even though I would spam him with questions, like long paragraphs, and he'd take the time and answer it. So it's just like learning that um how to fuel your body correctly, you know, like when I saw that in my diet plan that there was no fats, I'm like, so I can't have avocado. Like I thought avocado was healthy. Why not? It's just like you, it's it's so valuable to know how like your nutrition works. Because now you can look at your own food and feel confident in making the decisions that you're going to make. So when I go to the grocery store, I can look at it and be like, oh, well, this is this and that's that. So, you know, and like the amount, like, like people are always like oh my god you have to watch your carbs and this and this and this and that and just like well no because the way um chris explains it is that like you ha your body's like a house and it requires energy and it can come from your fats or your carbs and so basically you just choose how you want to fuel yourself and you don't have to like sh be so scared of carbs it's just that if you're eating a lot of processed foods it's gonna be carb heavy because it's a lot of sugar right mm -hmm. and and things like that but if you're like making the decision to say, oh, well, I'm going to have an avocado um, and it weighs this much and has this very important, incorporate it to your diet. Or if you want to have a chocolate and it's this much thing, go ahead and eat it. And like, yeah. that's what I've been doing. I'm just, after like sticking to like the very strict menu where I would literally only eat things off of it. And then now I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to have a banana. And I bought this like pe powdered peanut butter that's like better and it's higher in protein. I'm like, oh, if I scoop some of this, then that's great because I'm still like, I'm just subbing out things because mm -hmm. I don't really like eat, like pasta was one of the things that you could eat. I don't really eat pasta all that much. I'm like, so well, if my pasta was supposed to be this much carbs, then mm -hmm. I'm just going to, you know, disregard that and like, yeah. I can have this. So that was mm -hmm. like the biggest nutritional benefit. It's just like, you're not like afraid to like eat food. Like it, it gave me a healthier like relationship with food not like when you go to the grocery store you're like oh well I, I shouldn't eat this or or like if you have a piece of cake you're like well now I feel like I have to go and walk it off or something you know you don't feel that way anymore absolutely and I think that's so powerful because like I think diet culture and the, these day this day and age they tell you avoid this avoid that but really look yeah. like just look at it as like you said ingredients or materials to build a house I love that analogy so mm -hmm. my last question for you Calista um is a two-part question. Number one, when you before you started with us, A, were you skeptical about the whole program? And B, what would you say to someone that was like maybe in your position that is skeptical about joining? I was skeptical because I I think it's just dedication to something. I feel like people don't realize that if you stick to something and you like contribute just a small portion of your time towards it, then you do get far and you do get far quickly because most of the time when we're like wanting to try anything new whether it's like a new like I don't know you want to you want to learn how to paint or something or you want to learn how to code something sometimes we build up such a 
uh, like resistance to it. Like we get scared of doing it and then we procrastinate doing it. So we'll start really strong and do it like four times a week. And then all of a sudden, like a week later, we're like, eh, we get lazy about it. And then you don't see that progress. And then you're thinking to yourself, well, I tried, but then it's like, but you didn't dedicate like that small amount of time and take those steps towards it so I feel like if anybody's skeptical that's probably where it is and they probably don't think that they can hold themselves accountable to it and what's helpful is that you have all the coaches so I would say to them like if you are skeptical right you have people there that are going to hold you accountable like say hey I noticed see them post your pictures in the app today when you know what did you eat and things like that. So you're not doing it on your own. So if you're, if that's something that you're skeptical towards, just, just know that like there's people backing you. And if you take, like they say, if you take small steps towards something, you will end up, you'll end up getting there. You just need to take it one day at a time. Love yeah. the message. Very powerful. Uh, you're right. Everybody overwhelms themselves um, and too much too soon. Whereas like step-by-step step is really the key to long-term success. And I always talk, talk about transformative yes you did really good results within the six weeks but the transformation is like a lifelong it's like a that you've transformed you've transformed little habits to make you to the person you are today so calista congratulations on your six weeks and thank you so much for sharing your story with everybody thank you no problem <laughs> thanks